Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. What are you doing? Are you eating the grass or are you licking the water off of it? I think you are thirsty. Like I said, definitely not afraid of me. All right, I know it's hot, so I'm gonna be nice and turn the sprinklers on for you. He's just sitting up there on top of my compost bin now. Good morning, family. It is Sunday, September, what is this, the 4th, 3rd? I don't know, I've been out here in this heat way too long. <laughs> So yesterday we had um, 108 degrees with uh, 12 mile an hour winds and we had a 3.6 earthquake about 7.30 in the morning, which kind of knew it was coming. We had a few raindrops the day before and I really mean a few raindrops and it was quite muggy. So usually when we have heat like this and we get a little bit of rain, it's usually followed by an earthquake. So I thought it would happen yesterday. I was explaining that to my granddaughter and it didn't happen, but it did happen the day. Well, should I say I thought it would happen that day, but it didn't happen until yesterday, which was the next day. 
So a 3.6 earthquake is barely felt. Just feels like, you know, a large truck went by or something. So for all of you who were a little bit worried about us, yeah, that's pretty much nothing out here. <laughs> but anyway, I tried to get started this morning on uh, finishing this first bed and building the trellis for it. I don't know how to use a grinder and my husband wasn't too uh, confident in my um, beginner skills cutting a sheet of metal. <laughs> so he was gracious enough to come out and uh, cut this sheet for me. He told me to just go ahead and measure and mark and he would come out and cut it. So he did an excellent job. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to these inner squares and then try to get it attached to that bed before uh, I pass out out here because I am literally drip, drip, dripping with sweat and uh, head is starting to hurt. So this will be probably the only thing I get done outside this morning. It has been so hot that I've um, been having to water constantly to try to keep everything alive. My fruit trees were starting to scorch. I had to uh, come out and make sure they were covered because yesterday with the winds blowing, you know, they were knocking things down. So it did knock down the shade cloth I had over here, the obelisk. It knocked this one over. It snapped off the other uh, purple hull pea vine that was growing in there so I would sit it back up and it would just keep knocking it over so I just had to leave it laying down for a little while but it also broke off one of the branches on this um, early girl tomato plant so I ended up having to snip it but so far this is the only one that's actually got fruit on it but aside from that I mean there's not too much damage like I said, I did get some breaking, but most of it were branches that were already riddled with spider mites. So not too concerned about that because those were getting clipped off anyway. I did get a few broken branches on my kumquat, but like I said, also not too much damage. And uh, there is a little guy on there. So it just came out watered really, really well, and hopefully they will do okay today without the shade cloth up here. I also had to clean up lots and lots and lots of fox poop off from under there and uh, put more water in the pond because like I said, being in these hundreds for three months now, and this week has been really brutal. So as you can see, I got lots of branches hanging down now from that wind yesterday. But um, yeah, it's just too hot to get out here and try to correct anything. So like I said, I'm running my mouth, but um, I'm going to go ahead and get over there and get that done so I can get inside because it's already 98 degrees. <laughs> yeah, 98 degrees already. And uh, it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning yet. I don't even think it's 10. So I'll leave you guys with this beautiful sedum. Look at that. Now I'm gonna head over here and get busy. Both of these pieces are done now. They are the end caps for that bed right there. So I didn't take these all the way to the edge because I don't want to have to use so much force to go through this metal when I'm attaching it to these other sides over there. So I wanted to leave this exposed so that that would just butt up against there and uh, attach them. And then I'm gonna run a line of silicone in each corner to uh, help retain the moisture, keep water and soil from seeping out of there. But uh, it's hot now. I just checked the temperature and it is 100 degrees. So I am heading inside now. I'm gonna go make some breakfast and uh, see if I can come back out probably this evening and get a little bit more work done.
it is 7 30 in the evening and it is 104 degrees but it was 108 today so i actually have a break to come out here now and to show you guys the first finished bed as you can see it is beautiful i am so loving this so the measurements are eight feet by two feet tall by 28 inches wide as i said before this is redwood that i'm using and these are the corrugated steel roofing panels i love this bed <laughs> So I still have to get on the rest of them. But like I said, it has been so hot, you guys. Next week, we're supposed to have a little bit cooler temps. We're supposed to be in the low 90s. So hopefully I'll be able to just knock most of these guys out. But this is the first one for now. And I'm loving it. You guys tell me how you feel about it. Do you guys like them? You guys remember? This whole area is where my vegetable garden was. So I am going to leave an entrance right here. And then there's going to be another bed here, making that actually a corner bed. And then I will have another entrance about here. And then there will be another corner bed here. And I'm putting trellises over both the openings. I'm really still trying to get rid of that trampoline. So if I don't, then there's going to be a bed across the back of there also, and I'm just going to trellis all the back of it. Maybe put some lattice or something up so that I don't have to see that trampoline from this area. And then I'm really thinking about leaving the middle as a sitting area or an area that I'm going to run water to that I can actually wash off my produce before taking it in the house. So now I am about to get busy on building some of the trellises. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to comment down below, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you guys want to see how this project ends up. I will see you all in the next video.